Okay, so I'm charging this big electric bike battery today. Only the BMS is totally fried and we don't know the state of each individual cell bank. We might have cells in here that are a bit weak and you know parallel banks as a result that are a bit weak. So we've got to see what's going on before we put any money into this thing. Um, so what I've done, we've got no BMS, so I'm individually, and this is a long process, charging each parallel bank of cells. Yep, you heard that correctly, each individual bank, we're charging them, and there's 13, 13 banks in total. So yeah, what have I got here then? I've got a computer case, you're probably wondering what on earth that's for. Well, I just charge my uh, LiPos and things like that inside a metal box, just because it's a bit safer for uh, fire hazards and things like that. Um, so basically here we've got powering, and I've used the old um, power supply out of the computer to power the charger. It's a 450 watt power supply, it's a little bit on the small side, but it powers this little thing just fine. This is an IMAX B8 charger. So you've got the original um, you know, motherboard connector there, and um, um, ATX connector, sorry, of course, couldn't think of the name of it for a second there. And I've wired the green and the black together to run it. And as you can see, it's on and running. I have wired the power wires from the um, ATX connector. No, sorry, not the ATX connector. It's actually the uh, CPU 12 volt connector, the four pin. Well, yeah, still the ATX connector, but it's still you know the extra four four pin connector. I believe was CPU power when they um, started to use a bit more power back in the day. They went from the 20 pin to a 24 pin. Woohoo! Um, you can also use the PCI E connector if you happen to have one. Um, I've doubled them up so we've got you know twice the amperage on there I think we're good for about 30 amps on the 12 volt rail on this supply not 12 volt rail rails yeah let's have a look on here oh, 18 no 12 volts 12 volt oh, 14 amps see so, yeah, oh, okay only 14 amps but it does seem to work just fine and if this power supply does die that's so be it I'll just throw enough one in there <laughs> It doesn't get hot or anything like that, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so what I've done here, I've got the computer case. I put some insulator, it's an old t-shirt, in the back here just to insulate it from the chassis. Because uh, if there was no insulator in here and then you went and put this down, that would be very, very bad. And very spectacular, actually. Um, so yeah, I've got this old computer case. This is sitting on the outside of it. Run the wires outside, then they run back inside to charge the battery. Just gives it a bit more flame retardants, just in case something, if anything actually happened. I've um, got an extinguisher on hand anyway. I always charge my LiPos in, an in a metal box, just, you know, and electric bike batteries in general. Not such an issue with low powered, like Bosch electric bike batteries and things like that, and tall batteries. But it is best to still charge those on a non flammable surface, just in case. Um, we are on wood, but we have, we're in a metal box, so that's our non flammable surface. I've got a lid that goes on here as well. Anyway, that concludes this video of. Um, Charging the damaged e-bike battery pack. These, oh yeah, I've got so these are 26 650, not 18 650 cells. They're absolutely massive, 35 amp hours in total. So it's going to take a while. See you later. This is going to be fun.